So what's for dinner tonight is green beans, chicken, and potatoes. Every Monday, Sally Schoenwolf and her team of volunteers like Don Seip prepare meals to give out at St. Peter's Lutheran Church in High Spire. She started this at the beginning of the pandemic. These people were not getting food. So I started out thinking that I would like to feed them. One, one, uno, one. If you want to see somebody who's love, that's that right there. That's, that's Sally. If we run out of food, she will get something out for any individual that walks in. And if she's on her way out locking the door, she will come back in. That's love. That's Sally. What started as a meal for those in need each week has grown to offer even more. Now I have clothing coming in all the time from people who want to give. They want to help. Aside from clothing and a hot meal on Mondays, the first Tuesday of every month, Sally runs a food pantry. But I try to have things like um, soup cans and all kinds of canned vegetables. This is the table that I get plenty of stuff given to me by Midwest. Sally says Midwest Food Bank makes it possible for her to do what she does. You have wonderful things today. This is great. So Sally was one of our first agency partners, so she's seen it grow since the very beginning. Okay, you ready for the cold and frozen? Yes, is there anything good? Oh, I think so. Great. Midwest serves over 200 agencies from all over, and everything is free. We have the easy job, I always say, because we're providing food for them. They're the ones who are the boots on the ground. So I could have macaroni and cheese with sandwiches with the rolls. Once Sally figures out her menu and grabs what she needs, the cars are loaded up. But her giving spirit doesn't stop there. This is called laundry love. No, I'm this one's done. We always come in with a ton of quarters and be ready to start plugging them in for these people. Once a month, Sally and her Christ Care Group stop by the laundromat near her church and cover the cost of laundry for people in the community. Quite a few of them come in with many loads. They are absolutely grateful. For Sally, it's the connection she makes with others that matters most. Hey. Miss Sally. I get to know them and I get to hugs and I, uh, the hugs are wonderful. Sometimes it just takes something small to make something big. There's so much love in me. I just need to give it, give it back and do as much loving as we possibly can. This is wonderful and you deserve it. I'm telling you, the one thing I took away from meeting Sally, which we spent several days with her, by the way, yeah. shooting the story, but she gives, but so many people get the bug from her and they give Isn't back. Isn't that great? So she has created this like community of giving people just because she's there. And because she has that love to give and yeah. has shown that love, other people want to do the same thing, pass it along, yeah. right?